In this video I'm going to show you how to use the noise filter with your photographies. Okay, so I'm going to use this photo here as an example for a demonstration. Okay, so uh, go to the filter and you'll find the noise here and you'll see the five filters here that you can choose from. Okay, so let's start from the first one. Uh, is the add noise filter. And what this filter does, it actually creates some random pixels to your photo. And uh, you can change the amount of the pixels here. Okay. You also got the preview, so you can see the preview here. But if you uh, uh, if you have checked this option preview, you're also able to see the, your preview over here. Uh, so you can change the distribution here. Um, you got the uniform and the Gaussian. So what the uniform uh, distribution does, it creates the subtle uh, distribution appearance, and the Gaussian one creates this speckle distribution look. Okay. We also got the monochromatic option here, so if I have this option unchecked, you will see that the pixels will be of some uh, different colors, and if you check the monochromatic option, then your uh, the pixels will be in color uh, of your photo. Okay, so you can create a lot of different results with the add noise filter. Uh, you can also create the uh, texture layer. Okay, so I'm going to show you that later. Let's see the another one. We got the this speckle and uh, what this speckle uh, filter does, it detects the edges, uh, the areas actually where the significant color change occurs, and it blurs all the areas except uh, those edges. Uh, so it, it's actually re removing the uh, noise from the photo and preserve details. Okay, and uh, let's see what we got next here. We got the dust and scratches filter. So we just click there. Uh, what you can change here is the radius, okay, and you can change the threshold. And what this uh, filter does, it reduces the visual noise by changing the similar pixels, okay. So let's see what we got next. We got the medium filter, and what you can change here is the radius, okay. So what the medium filter does, it actually searches for the pixels of a similar brightness and discarding the pixels that differ too much from the one that are next to them and replaces the center pixel with the average brightness value of searched pixels. Okay. So you can, you can change the radius here also. Okay. And the last one is the reduced noise filter. Okay, let's click there. And what this filter does, it actually reduces the uh, bright noise and the color noise. And you can just change the strength over here. Okay. Uh, you got the preserve details over here option. So if you just move this to zero, you will see the photo will uh, lose those uh, details. Okay. So let's set it to 100. And here you can reduce the color noise just by moving this cursor here. Okay, and you can sharpen the details, and this one here uh, is very sensitive one. Okay, so if you just move it to 100, you can see the result. So uh, this will sharpen up your details, and you get the option remove JPEG artifact. And what that option does, it will let's just zoom a little bit. You can see the difference. We just remove these uh, bright pixels there that are caused by saving the image at a low JPEG quality setting. Okay, uh, you also got the option advanced here, so you can then uh, change, uh, you can uh, actually choose the channel here and then change the strength. Okay, so I'm just gonna click OK. So you can see the difference. Okay, and uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a texture layer using the add noise filter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a new layer. Okay, you can just click on this shortcut here or just go to layer and you choose a new layer. And then I'm going to set my foreground color to black I just go to edit, fill and just choose a foreground color, normal mode, opacity 100, so just click OK, like this. And then just go to filter, noise, and I'm going to choose add noise. Okay, and I'm going to choose a Gaussian, monochromatic, and just choose some value like this one here. So I'm just going to click OK. And what you have to do now is to change the color mode of this layer, so uh, the blending mode. 
and uh, you can mm, experiment here, it depends what kind of effect you wish to achieve. Just gonna lower the opacity, okay, like this, or try with the screen or soft light, okay. Let's choose this one so you can see uh, how it creates the uh, uh, noisy texture there, okay. Okay, so I hope you understood everything and thanks for watching.